hi everyone welcome to my channel this is Remy Roy and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create your very own book cover in Canva so if you're an author and you are writing a book or you are trying to create a cover and you're like I just want to create something myself you can absolutely do it in Canva so to create the back cover all you need to do is go here and add new page so we created um, another page and I still had the same image on the front cover and then I added an element which is a rectangle so I'm just gonna go out here and click on this and then spread it out so that it covers the whole page okay this is gonna make sense in a moment and then I changed the color to black I changed the color of this element to black so I'm gonna go ahead and pick black because now it, it looks all dark and too dark but the trick is you can reduce the contrast or the intensity or the transparency of this element so go ahead and up here on the controls click here it says transparency when you click that you can reduce the transparency of this element and drag it down and you can begin to see and if you drag it all the way down it's going to disappear but this is what i want i wanted you to barely see that design okay see what i mean so i'm gonna use 97 which is the perfect transparency that i want i mean you can still see uh, just the silhouette of that image but it's not that in your face so what i did was i added another element the same element but then i reduced the size so that it looks just like a band that goes through the top of the page right here and the color of that is the same color that we've used in the front and then i have the title the book title so you can instead of putting you know the text all over again i can just copy this and drag it down here so you can drag elements across the page and drag it down here and then i reduce the size to 24 I mean in my um, version it wasn't all um, uppercase letters but that's fine and then I started to add my um, back information all the information at the back of the book okay so right here and choose the text so the first text that I have is um, a review so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and then include it as a text right here now you can see that this is really large but the size that I want is 8 and the font that I want is Arimo 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 however you call that Arimo okay so I'm gonna go ahead you can see anything so I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to white so that's what I want right there now it's I can stretch it out so that the text you know just sort of feels in that portion of the page and that's it now it might seem like oh my god this is really tiny but when it's printed it looks perfect because remember the size is really small if you increase the percentage of the display right here at the bottom of the page and you click on that then you can see it clearly okay so we're just gonna go back down and then I'm going to put the next element which is the name of the reviewer so I'm gonna go ahead and add that and change the color change the font size to 8 and the font type to a remo and drag that up there and I pretty much want to change this color right now to that same shade of orange that I've used okay and then the next element on the page is the next review so I'm gonna do the same thing I can just go ahead and copy this so I don't have to do the whole thing it has all of the formatting that I want so I'm gonna edit that and then I'm gonna add the reviewers name just like the last one I'm gonna copy this and drag it down okay so I have that. Don't pay attention to the highlights in there. 
the computer does not um, recognize those words, their people's names. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and just to make sure it's centered, I keep checking to make sure that the text is centered on the page because that's very important. You feel like you need more space, you can click on that. Okay. All right, so the next element I, I need is actually the about the book information. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna copy any of this because it's the same formatting that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna put in that. So the text is centered as you can see. So I can move that up a little or down however I want. Then the other elements I need is the about the author. So I can still copy this and edit it. Move that around because I'm gonna need space for the picture about the author or the author's picture. I'm gonna need space for that. Now, because the barcode for the book is gonna go somewhere here, I have to make sure that there's enough space below this area. So I might have to edit this further, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the picture now just so I get it all right. So this is the picture I'm going to use here. I've already uploaded the picture. So I'm going to put it in here and then resize it. So it's the right size for this space. Okay. And then I might just change the alignment and left justify. All right. So there's another element that I added. This is a lot of text to so separate it. So I'm gonna go look for, it's a line actually. So I'm gonna go look for that element right here. I'm gonna say it is this one, just to be sure. I'm gonna scroll, scroll down. Okay, this is it, it's this one. So that's the element. You can see that the, the little dot so I'm going to use that and I can make it smaller if I want. And then make sure it's centered on the page. Also, if you want, you can change, you can um, edit the spacing of the text. So if you want the line heights to be reduced a little, you can do this. If you notice the text is you know getting a little more compact so that you can have more space on the page but make sure the text is, is still legible so that people can read it so i'm going to use the same element right here i'm going to copy it i'm going to put it right here make sure that it is centered on the page voila so i'm going to change this is some shade of blue or green so I'm going to change that to that same color that we've been using. And that's it. Okay. So we have, this is the back of the book. This is a lot of text, but if you separate the elements, you know, properly, you can make it work. Okay. So the barcode for the book is going to go somewhere here. And this is the back cover. So you see, I've created both the front cover and the back cover all in canva okay and if you're going to use say create space if you're self-publishing and you're going to use create space for your book they are really good their customer service is really good because if your dimensions are a little bit off they're going to do that for you okay so they're going to fix it for you you don't have a problem with that so and which is why i said this is a beginner's tutorial because i do not use high-end design software so having canva is just an amazing opportunity for me to learn and grow and also save a lot of money while creating my own stuff okay so because i don't use all the software dimensions trying to get the dimensions right can be difficult but it's possible so this is your front cover and the back cover and then you can create a spine or get someone to do it for you because you have to calculate how how 
wide of a spine you're going to need depending on how thick your book is i cannot estimate how how many pages you have in your book you know and all that i have about 194 pages in my book so the spine was about um 0.5 inches so i can just create the spine and put it in there and then you have your front and your back cover so if you're doing just kindle all you need is the front cover and if you're using the paperback you can add the back cover and you're good to go and when it was printed this well this is a, a 3d version but this is exactly how it looks when it was printed and it's amazing so you can definitely create your book cover by yourself in canva and save a lot of money i hope this has been helpful for you let me know down below in the comments if you've ever tried it if you're going to try it or if you need any more information that i can help with if there's any, any other design tutorial in Canva that you want me to do, go ahead and leave that down in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. Please subscribe to my channel and rate this video. You can give it a thumbs up and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.